Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sarge. I'm going to give you guys my overall opinion on the Battlefield 2042 beta, as well as if this is a game you should be purchasing for this year's Battlefield. Now, I've probably plugged in about 15, 16 hours into the beta, which isn't a lot of time. I'm also a dedicated sniper, so that's where I put most of my focus into the beta. I didn't really experiment with everything that it had to offer, so this is just coming in from one angle. Um, and for those of you guys who've been on my channel for quite some time know that I am usually the sniper type, or at least I play more of an, a sniper role when it comes to Battlefield games. But I think this time around, I am gonna try to experiment more with more of the versatility of weapons and gadgets, as well as classes that 2042 has to offer. Um, and that's just the extension that I get from, uh, or the fun that I get from playing Warzone. It's just the variety of different attachments and weapons. So I want to explore that going in from this day forward when the game's fully released. Um, and so, uh, yeah, my take on this is very one-sided, so I can't really speak for the overall uh, player base. I know there are people who absolutely love the beta. I am in that category, but then there's also a lot of people who didn't love it. What I experienced at the battlefield was just sheer fun, and I think that's something that Battlefield has lacked um, ever since Bad Company, going all the way back to 2010. I think Bad Company, in my opinion, was like peak Battlefield. That was like the best Battlefield that we've gotten. Prior to that, it was Battlefield 2. Uh, Battlefield 2 was an amazing battlefield that ha gave you a lot of the sandbox experience plus mod tools, which was huge. Um, and then Bad Company was able to bridge the gap. There was always a big gap in Battlefield between the player and the vehicles. So anyone who was a master in running tanks or choppers or jets essentially could run the entire battlefield. And that would make it very difficult for infantry players like myself to capitalize on... Um, winning a game and so uh, that we didn't see that balance until Bad Company 2 especially with the gunplay gunplay felt really solid yeah that's one of the big issues with the beta in 2042 is that there's just a gap again between players and um, vehicles and if you guys got to experience that choppers essentially ran the entire uh, battlefield that was just a big thing choppers and air vehicles uh, tanks were not much of a problem, but I just felt like the choppers and air vehicles alone were just dominating. Now, as far as the gunplay coming from a sniping perspective, it felt a lot like Battlefield 3, but an improved version of that. Um, and it was actually enjoyable. I really had a lot of great moments and um, a great time just sniping people, whether I was playing aggressively or just sitting back and popping off shots from a distance. Um, you did have the issue of not having zeroing where you could just compensate for the the range of a player um, but I think that's probably something will be introduced in the full version of the game um, but aside from that you could just really pop off shots quick uh, that's something I felt in the BF3 beta was that just sniping felt a lot of fun during that phase and I think BF3's big issue was the suppression system where if you're being suppressed it would actually change the trajectory of your bullets which was horrible for a sniper but this game doesn't have that which is wonderful and on top of that it just felt fluid on the side of ttk i know a buddy of mine shibby who was playing uh who was running a lot of the assault rifle weapons or the lmgs was mentioned that it did feel like it took an extra bullet or two to down players and so it seems like the ttk is a little bit lower than the previous battlefields and um, that's just something that we might see change um beautiful thing though is we are getting a uh, battlefield portal which is like custom servers and so people can adjust the TTKs on that and give you the feeling that you would like. So yeah, not worried much about the balancing of the weapons in the beta because that will shift when the full release drops. But yeah, just the overall feel of handling the weapons in 2042 is probably the best that we've had since Bad Company. Map design reintroduces the sandbox feel, so big open arena with a lot of lush and building structures that are kind of slapped in. Um, one thing I do love is that you don't have to worry about collision issues when you're driving a vehicle. You can just pretty much run over anything. So there's a lot of destructibles, which is great. I wish they did have the Bad Company uh, collapsible system where if you just blew out a building's uh, legs, it would eventually collapse. 
Um, that was one of the uh, fun things about Bad Company was being in a building that was falling apart or taking out a building and making it collapse on the enemy. But um, nonetheless, you could still just blow holes through walls, pretty much any wall. And then um, if you notice that there would be craters in the ground from a lot of the explosions going off from either air vehicles or explosives in general, and it would just change the entire field so it would actually look like there was a battlefield going on. And that was the beauty of playing older games like Bad Company is that by the end of the match, the entire field is just in complete chaos. And so yeah, they are reintroducing that with 2042 and that's a huge plus for the overall map design of the game. I think if you're going into this from a BF1 to BF5 perspective, um, due to the fact that the development teams from BF5 kind of left that game uh, die, which was unfortunate, and then we had the tragedy of um, their battle royale, which didn't even really take off. This game might bring you some bad taste from that, and I would probably hold off until you can see more development from the development team themselves to see what they are actually going to take or where they're going to take this game. And so, yeah, I would hold off. But if you're someone who's taken a break like myself, I haven't touched Battlefield since BF1, and I didn't really play BF1 a lot. So I've been on a break for a very long time from uh, the series. Uh, it's a great time to get back into it because it's fresh, it feels brand new. Um, and like I was mentioning, there again, you're going to be running into a lot of glitches. I think once the game launches, you're going to be seeing a lot of the same issues that we saw in the beta. Um, a lot of people say that you can fix a lot of the problems, but there's only months away and they're always... Uh, development teams are always under crunch time. That's going to be the priority, and then they're going to try to patch it later on, which is a never-ending cycle to a lot of these AAA titles. And so we are probably going to get a full release with a lot of issues, and so I'm expecting that. But what I am really enjoying, again, is the fun factor. I think bringing that back into play is a huge thing. Um, Battlefield is never been in a better spot. Um, since Bad Company, I think this is probably the best Battlefield. And um, yeah, we'll see how that works out for this game. So I'm giving this a two thumbs up for myself. I did pre-order the game and I am looking forward to it. If you have any comments below, let me know what you think of the beta. What was your experience? I love the graphics. That was another thing I didn't get to mention. The graphics were so nice. I didn't think they were as great as the BF1 graphics. I think BF1, that engine had really amazing graphics. I don't know what they did differently, but again, this does feel like an older version and they're kind of like revamping that older version. It's still beautiful. I still like it. Um, it still eats up hardware for those of you guys who lost some hardware. I know um, uh, Russian Badger had his 3090 blowout, so that's horrible. <laughs> um, can't imagine that for those of you guys who can't really run this game on like your, you know, the 1070s, I think was having issues. Shibby said he was lagging a lot. Performance is something they're going to have to work and fine tune on. And I think that's something that's usually the case when a new battlefield gets introduced, right? Can't really run any hardware. And then later on, they kind of fix it. So yeah, if you're on the fence, just wait it out. Um, if you are someone who's taken a break for a while and you're intrigued, Definitely give this one a shot. Uh, and then if you're coming in from BF5 with a bad taste due to the fact that the developers kind of left that game to die, um, then just sit this one out. You know, just wait and see how things work out and pan out. And then you can make your judgments later. That being said, my name is Sarge. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.